We are in Lake Como and we are going to share with you the top five things to do here in Lake Como. And here next to me, you already see one of them. And we tell you all about where to find this beautiful bridge because wow, it's really a bridge out of your dreams. And we're also going to tell you what not to do here in Lake Como because you don't want to waste your precious time here in this beautiful Italy. Our ferry ticket, it's, an, uh, it's a day ticket for 15 euros per person. You can travel unlimited to all the main uh, places here around Lake Como. Uh, it's just not going to our hidden gem, but we will also show you how to get to our hidden gem and it's not difficult. To make the most out of our 15 euro ferry ticket, we plan to visit the most beautiful villages, including a hidden gem around Lake Como. The best views of these villages, you're gonna get it from these boats. Oh, so cool. And it is what, uh, 8.45 in the morning. Everything just looks so pretty. And the boat is pretty empty. And if you come around during lunchtime or so, or around like 11 or 12, it just gets super packed. We have just reached to Varenna and look where we are walking. I think this is the walkers uh, love walk. Walk of lovers. I'm not sure yet if this is the walk of lovers. But, but it looks pretty, pretty romantic. Pretty. Next to the water you go around like this. Oh, it's a romantic. And good part is we are the only lovers here. And we are also maybe looking for some nice breakfast. Some nice croissant and nice coffee because until now we have been a little bit disappointed from Lake Como because it has been just super touristy. So we had a little bit of problem. So I got the Nutella croissant and Mira got a chocolate croissant. Chocolate, I don't know but how. Like really cheap, ugh, really not nice chocolate. So if you go here, make sure you ask for the Nutella croissants. It's really not a nice place. I don't get the good reviews. Mira is not happy with the croissant, so we are finding a. Another, another place. Another big bakery disappointment here in Bellagio. Uh, Bellagio. We had to pay 24 euros. 24. And normally what we just ordered, we pay like 11 euros max. I don't know. She didn't show me the calculation. It's crazy. Crazy expensive here for Italy. And it was really not good. One last chance that we get maybe some good croissants here. But we'll see. So if you really are in a romantic mood, you can also read a poem to your lover. <laughs> From David Maria. Which language is he? So guys, we are in Lake Como for the past, uh, what, two, two, past three days. And this Verona, we have come here for the first time and it's really impressive. It's really pretty. It also looks a little bit like Cinque Terre. If you have never heard of it, this is how it looks. We always look for some local places to eat and what we have found is a hidden gem in Varena. What we have, all of this is just for 12 euros and it's a taste. It's really, really good. We are trying the hazelnut croissant, but I think that all the things are in the middle. The, the quality of croissant is good. Look at it. Mm. Mm, it's good. Yeah? Am I not disappointed? Not no. sad the rest of it's the day? Good. I think you want to have to take one more. Yeah. Under, yeah. Look at it guys, we were here one hour ago. Nobody, nada. After Verena, we headed to Menaggio. And meanwhile we are going there, let's talk about the most famous village around Lake Como. Bellagio. It is also called the Pearl of Lake Como. Bellagio is known for its beautiful royal villas, cute alleys with famous photo spots, and of course some amazing Italian food. There are actually so many things to do in Bellagio that we made a separate video about this village. Make sure to watch it after watching this video. But for now, let's get back to our ferry ride to Menaggio. We are in Menaggio and it already feels like a big city. It's not like Verena and we are looking for some ice cream because the heat is picking up a little bit. It's crazy, like one hour can so make so much difference. It's whew. It's what we have guys. Your ice cream is gonna melt for Instagram here. So this village is not that charming as uh, 
Wat was het? <laughs> Parana. Parana. But I do see a lot of big and grand hotels. So maybe this is the place okay. where, uh, where you can stay in a really nice hotel. And of course, wherever you stay, you can always go with the ferry from one village to the other village. Uh, so you can explore them all, like what we're doing now. They have something with lavendel here. It's, uh, you have a lot of these shops where they just sell everything from lavendel. And here, even on the boulevard, they sell it. If you are here on Lake Como, you of course also want to get a bit higher up so that you have the view over the whole lake. And there is a Rivigio, uh, Rivigio, I have the name, Rivigio Menaggio. You have to hike up there, but uh, yeah, as you can imagine, in 36 degrees, you're not going to do a long hike. But there is a solution for that. And that's what we will show you in our hidden gem. Tickets to Archeco. Now it is finally time for a hidden gem. We took a bus from Menaggio to Argeno, but first... So we just got out of the bus and he ran into a gelato shop, just over there. We have gelato as lunch today. Yeah. We are in this another beautiful town, Argenio, and it's a little bit laid back than the previous town where we were. This is really an unknown uh, town from Lake Como. But it's really cool and it becomes even more cooler because we go somewhere at the moment. He's gonna show you. You should see it a bit. <laughs> so with the gondol we came quite high and now we are going to a lookout point where you can see the entire lake. So this is a hidden gem which obviously not many people know about. And you can take the gondol which is pretty cheap. And hopefully we could get a really beautiful view because it's also a really nice day. We would be taking this viewpoint Pigra. Belvedere to see this beautiful Lake Como. The lookout point looks quite beautiful, but we have a lot of uh, there's also beautiful wires, which just adds to the beauty. Yeah, <coughs> but you see Corona. everything. You see Bellagio, you see Varenna. So we are standing here, we are like observing the lake and thought, whoa, that must be really deep there. And then we did some Google research and apparently it is, wait, I want to say the right number, 460 meters deep. And that makes it one of the deepest lakes of Europe. Now I'm wondering which lake would be deeper in the world. You can check, you have a Google. Not a Google research, guys. Deepest lake in the world. Baikal Lake. Where is it? 1700 meters. And while we were getting back from the Pigra lookout point, we also wanted to share with you a spot around Lake Como, which looks straight out of your Italian dreams. This bridge is Orido de Neso. It is located in the village Neso, and you can get here by car, bus, or bicycle. We would highly recommend to visit this place in morning, because later during the day, it gets super packed. We were at this bridge for like last uh, one and a half hours or so. We're just taking water photos, videos, and everything. So if you want some nice clips or nice photos, just come here early because nobody's there. It's yeah, oh it's so amazing this place. Oh, it's so, so pretty, pretty, so so pretty. pretty. It's like really this dream image you have of Italy, you know, this bridge and the waterfall in behind, the beautiful lake in front of you. It's amazing. That brings us to the end of our adventures around Lake Como. See you in the next one.